Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand recurrence relation of a recursive algorithm. So the concept of uh, recursion, what is meant by recursion has already been explained in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here because the understanding of recursion is very important for you to understand what we're going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description description below now what is uh, a recurrence relation a recurrence relation is an equation that recursively defines a sequence whenever there is a sequence of actions in order to define that sequence of actions we have to uh, we can uh, we, we can define that sequence of actions by using recurrence relations and one more very important point to understand is in our previous classes we have discussed about the uh, efficiency of iterative algorithms now how to find the efficiency of iterative algorithms how to find the efficiency of uh, sorry recursive algorithms how to find the efficiency of recursive algorithms is first we have to find the recurrence relation so that is the reason why we we are discussing about this recurrence relation concept which which we have already the, all the basics of this concepts are already discussed uh, discussed in our uh, discrete mathematics course okay so just we are uh, recapping that concept and we are using that concept with respect to, to these algorithms so how these recursive algorithms uh, recurrence recurrence relations are used is first in order to find the efficiency of recursive functions this is the recursive function for factorial in order to find the efficiency of these uh, recursive algorithms we have to first find the recursive equation or recursive relation or recursive function or recursive equation anything can be used so after finding that recursive equation we have to solve that recursive equation to solve that recursive equation we have two methods one is substitution method and the other one is master's methods either by using any one of these method we will get the efficiency of an algorithm we will get the efficiency of an algorithm in this class we will try to understand about how to find the uh, how to write the recursive relation or the recursive function for the given algorithm that we will try to understand in the next classes we will try to discuss about uh, uh, these methods okay to find the efficiency of the recursive functions so how to find the uh, uh, recurrence relation recurrence function for this is the entire recursive algorithm is divided into the entire recursive algorithm is divided into two parts one is base part and the other one is recurrence part see here this is what we call it as base part this is called uh, base part and this is called recurrence part recurrence part so what this base part is in order to stop the algorithm in order to stop the algorithm the recurrence function should have a base base part see here whenever the value of n is equal to 1 we are going to return 1 okay this is the base part where the algorithm stops its execution if this base part is not there means the algorithm will go into infinite loop the recurrence algorithm will go into infinite loop the next part is recurrence part this is where the actual function is done this is where the actual uh, uh, implementation of the uh, of the problem the solution for the problem is provided in the recurrence part so the uh, recurrence function will also have two parts one describes the recurrence part and the other describes the base part now how to write the uh, recurrence relation for this uh, algorithm factorial algorithm is so to find the time complexity to find the amount of time taken by this algorithm amount of time taken by this algorithm if you consider the time as t of n why this t of n means to find the factorial of n the amount of time taken is considered as t of n the amount of time taken is considered as t of n so first we will write the uh, uh, amount of time taken by the recur recursive part uh, recur recurrence part so next we will try to understand what is the time taken by this base part so in order to execute uh, a, a recurrence step in the sense if the value of n is not equal to 1 if the value of n is not equal to 1 this condition is going to false so we are going to come into this else part 
if the if the value of n is such a wave so that it is great it is not equal to n then what is the amount of time taken first we will try to understand that so if the value of n is not equal to n how many steps are executed uh, efficiency means it is just step count right so the step count is this one will get executed we will consider this as one unit we will consider this as one unit and the next step this is going to be false this will get executed but it is going to be false so next what which step will get executed this step will get executed the amount of time taken to execute this step what is the amount of time taken it is so we have to do the multiplication we have to do the multiplication so for multiplication for multiplication it is going to take one more step so so just count it one step for this one this multiplication has to be done and to do this multi multiplication to do this multiplication one more one one more step will be taken and within this multiplication we are having another function call within this multiplication we have another function call this itself is calling this function so what is the amount of time taken by this by this uh, uh, function call so we don't know so the amount of time time taken by this function call is t of t of n minus 1 so if the amount of time taken to get the factorial of all these values uh, uh, factorial of uh, n it is the amount of the amount of time taken is n t of n to find the factorial of n minus 1 so that is what we call it as recursively defines a sequence we are getting the sequence from this function call which is what we call it as a recursion try to get that point these points are very important to understand okay so the amount of time taken so within this within this uh, uh, within this uh, uh, what we call it as a program step we are having another function called another function call called factorial of n minus 1 what is the amount of time taken for factorial of n minus 1 it is t of n minus 1 so the total amount of time taken by this entire factorial so this part of the program so this part of the program is is it is 2 plus 2 plus t of n minus 1 t of n minus 1 try to get that point okay so uh, the next part is base part so one of the part is t of n minus 1 plus 2 if if n is greater than 1 and the next condition that we have the next part of the program that we have is base part what is the amount of the, how many program steps will get executed to get this so to execute this to execute this only one step will be considered n is equal to 1 then the return will happen so one step will get executed so in order to execute the base part means if the value of n is equal to a t of 1 a t of 1 the number of steps that are executed is only 1 if if n is equal to 1 whenever the value of n is equal to 1 the number of steps that are executed is 1 so no need to write this also just we, we can write it as 1 okay just i'll erase it and i'll let you know how the equations are generally we will have the equations in this form okay it is one so this one is for base step and this this amount of time is for this part of the algorithm okay so this is how by using both this uh, uh, recurrence part and the uh, base part we are going to solve we are going to solve those uh, uh, we can solve these equations uh, by using substitution method or master's method how to solve that that we will try to understand in our later class hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching